Hello everyone on All Things Reviews and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the BRPON Cars Jump Starter 1500 Amp Peak 15,800 Milliamp 2000 Amps Charging 12 Volt Auto Booster Battery Jumper Pack As always make sure to like, comment, subscribe We're going to be reviewing the features, product opening We're going to review the weights, some measurements, all of what you get in the package How it's been working, charging times, and much much more So make sure to watch at the end, let me know if you guys have anything like this Until the end and as always, like, comment, subscribe, watch to the end, Amazon link down below. If you think it's cool and worth your time, you're going to be able to check it out. So let's start with the basics. And I know this is something new and fresh, so it's going to be different than the other ones, but we will be doing everything else. Okay, so let's transition. So when you actually uh, open a box, you're going to get it in an Amazon package bag. Once you open up the packaging, you're going to be getting this right here, this B. RPOM, this nice little travel case made out of leather and you're going to be getting a couple of things so inside of here you're going to be getting your charging and it's a regular like the standard uh, android charger well, i'm going to show you in a minute where to put that as well and on the other side when you'd open this up you're going to be greeted with the actual um, jump starter kit itself so as you can see on the front 2000 amps it does come with a compass so you can guide yourself if you ever need to the on and off battery indicators right there on the front and the and then putting it over to this side right here you're gonna actually be getting the little um place to actually put the kit to jump start your car now um i don't have nails so I have to open it up a different way. So let me do that right now. Perfect. Okay. And when you open it up, this is the connector. So you can see the connector connected. I'm gonna show you as well how to do it. So stick to the end tool. Until the end. See how to actually um, connect it. <laughs> On the other side, you have the glass breaker right here. So this is useful if you need to break any glass windows. You know, so if you're locked out or something and you're just desperate, this is the way to do it. And then on the side here, you actually have like the product specification. So a brand, the model, the BM200, 21,800 milliamps, 2000 volts, type C inputs 12 volts and one and a half amps. Or the other ones, as you can see, these are the um, ranges for the USB 1 and 2. And there's a temperature it can survive. So it could go up to from 4 to 140. So it's rated for um, most use cases. <laughs> and on the side here, you can see it has a flashlight and a USB 3, USB 2, and the Type C, which is used for um, the charging. So that's all of the stuff you get with this. And we were going to be explaining it later on. So just don't miss out. You're going to see everything. In case you're lost or something like that, you know, let me know if you guys have any car jump starters. But in case you're lost, it does come with the user manual and it's in many different languages. So you have English, Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian. And I think that's a Chinese comment down below if it's Chinese or not. I'm not too sure. So you can see the manual shows the pages for the on and off power indicator how to start the car how to actually plug it in troubleshooting so in case you're lost pages seven and eight have the troubleshooting the care and maintenance so it tells you not to put it in under direct sunlight do not drop or kick do not disassemble check the product every three months and change the product in time in case and you are under two-year warranty and you have a contact phone number right there in case you have any issues this is just in the other languages so once you open that up this is the one little place that you got your um, manual and your usb type c cable to plug in which would have been right here so that's as far as packaging goes that's all you get for packaging so let's put this on a weight scale see how much this weighs so the actual machine itself weighs 14 ounces six ounces and eight ounces so putting it together you put 
you put this here. So this, let me show you how it would look like. I uh, look like when you're just carrying it and taking it out. And the cool thing about the case itself that I did not mention is it actually has this little strap right here. So if you need to, you can carry it like this. So put together on a weight scale, you are getting one pound, uh, like- well, that looks heavy. Can we help you with it? 11 ounces. So you're almost at uh, two pounds full weight for this thing. So as far as measurements go, so you can kind of get some understanding of what, you know, the actual height is. We're gonna take the important part because um, it doesn't necessarily matter, you know, to, uh, doesn't necessarily matter at all the case size, but that's uh, six inches length. And I'm gonna be doing it here. Uh, that's 50, that's three inches. And it's about two inches high. And measurements for centimeters, I'm gonna put it down below in the description box as I'm just using the bigger one for, uh, you know, understanding purposes, basically. Um, I'm gonna do for you guys. So that's oh. nine inches length and four inches uh, width. And you get a height of about three and a half, four inches. So you can fit this in a glove box. That's um, best use case. You could obviously fit it in the back of the trunk. You could even fill it if your car has the, um, like the little cup holder things. And I'm gonna actually show you how to do it. I'm not gonna start it, but I'm gonna take you to the car because I don't need to jumpstart my car. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I just wanna show you, but let's show you the features. So when you press it on, as you can see, this is full charged, four bars right there. And that's how your indication works to show you actually, you know, your status. And you'd have this for grips, really nice. And for, and it does have a little flashlight mode. Um, you can't necessarily see it, not really bright but it does have the charging capability. So if you take your car charger or something like that, well, now that it's powered on, you're gonna be able to actually charge the thing. So to get the flashlight on, you're gonna to wanna to press for about six seconds. And as you can see, it- Did anyone notice that bright light? Encroaching gunfire? The pretty bright light. This is kind of what it looks like zooming in. So as you can see, this is without the flashlight with the flashlight. So you could kind of see the lighting. And to give you another angle, this is without the flashlight, and this is it with the flashlight. So, especially when it's useful, you need it, and to turn it off, you just long press. So it's a hard press for like about five seconds, and then to close it, it's hard press for about five seconds. So let's take it to the car and show you how the jump start feature works and the other features with it and then give our opinion. Okay, so in the car right here, right outside. So the way you connect it is you take this uh, switch right here, this little lid, plastic lid. You take it off and then you make sure to align your connection and it only goes in one way. So if it doesn't fit in the first time, then just flip it around. So you're gonna want to put it inside like this until you click it all the way in place. And you can see right here, it's gonna give you a light. And on the back of this, it tells you that, let's see, on green is low light voltage, off is red flash and off beep, and off beep and red light kind of shows you. So I'm not gonna actually jump start my car, but you also get a little help right here on the top of this, the black's negative and the red is positive. And you can see my battery's in there. I'm not gonna do it all of it, but what you would essentially do if anyone else has ever jump started would be you take the clamp, the positive would go on the positive. So it would clamp on negative on the negative end of the battery. And once it ready, you just click on this red and it would go beep and it would be ready to administer um, the voltage. Then you would want to have someone get inside the car and start it. And that's how you would uh, jumpstart the car. So taking all of this into account and to, into consideration, 
this is the brpom so what what's cool about it i mean i love the form factor the little glass i'm not gonna break any glass obviously but essentially you'll go destroy it like that really hard this is glass but essentially really hard and it would break the glass you got this nice little compass if you need to use that you have this nice flashlight it's an all-in-one it's more than just a car jump starter kit and i really like about that and for the price it's only 54 dollars, guys and it's on sale right now at amazon they cut the price so if you really want to get something this is a cheap entry level and it's a multi-tool you have the flashlight you have the glass breaker you have the car charger and you have the jump starter and you get this nice little kit that comes with it when you purchase and you get all of this nice little stuff and it jumps it just fine no big cables nothing like that these are nice small you can fit this in a glove box you could fit this anywhere you know so it's really uh portable compatible with all the cars um you know overall it's great for a entry level start for something cheap now obviously with that being said you're not going to have all the cool features all the little cool you know bits and gadgets the flashlight isn't the brightest it's just to um get you by basically right it's not a it's not beefed out or anything like that the usb charger you only have one usb 3 the other one's the regular so yes you know there's little things of, of that sort you know the indicator sometimes uh, is a little bit hard to detect and you know there could be some issues when you're plugging it in and out you know with the amps and the battery it does go by after six or seven tries jump starts it's completely dead and it takes quite a while to actually charge it back it took me like five hours to get it completely full so yes there there are some drawbacks to it but overall for what it's priced at and what it's worth uh, if you're looking for something cheap and you don't have anything i would highly recommend this or you don't want to carry anything big and bulky around this is a perfect thing lightweight compact portable you can take it anywhere with you it's you know i would say for its price range it's absolutely phenomenal it, and what i would give it i'd give it a 10 out of 10 you know i would definitely recommend this there's not you know the little things for the price point you just can't compete and argue with yeah, so this is all things reviews of brpom 2000 amp car jump starter kit with flashlight glass breaker the compass and jump starter cable kit all things reviews if you like the week, content bye -bye. please like and subscribe to all things reviews and be sure to check out other videos to support the creator have a nice day and see you next week